and welcome back. This is Reactions at Rock, and I am Seth. As you know, I have been doing a lot of reaction videos to songs that I would not normally listen to, and then in the past few days or so, I kind of got stuck in rock and roll, which is where my bread is buttered, if you know what I mean. That is what I live for. That is love. Rock music is life to me. Rock and metal, it's all I listen to. Uh, until I've started doing some of this. And then I found myself listening to folk pop, which just never never saw that coming, but uh, not much. Small doses. When I need an emotional uh, fix or unfix, if you will. Anyway, today I am checking out R&B. Maybe it's rap. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but I know it's a bit of a departure. Uh, it's a song called Anxiety. Uh, all capital letters with a space in between it, so it may be, maybe the song is called A-N-X-E, oh, I can't even spell. You figure out the rest. Anyway, I was reading it too. How bad is that? Thank you, Public School, America Public School, producing fantastic readers since like 1776. Okay, uh, comment below, tell me when public schools officially started in this country, because that seems to be the most important takeaway some of you will have from this video. Others will have... This guy either liked this or didn't, and that's what I'm hoping you take away from this. I'm going to fire this up. This is Sleepy Hallow. I I, I want to say hollow, but H-A-L-L-O is not hollow. It is hallow. So it's Sleepy Hallow featuring Gochi? <laughs> yeah, you can just look at like the title of this video and, and figure out what that is. I think it's Dochi, but there's two eyes at the end, so maybe it's Doch 2 and it's just Roman numerals. I don't I don't know. I doubt it. But where anything's possible in the wonderful world of musician names. Uh, so we're just going to fire this up. See what I'm listening to and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. A prominent drill rapper and more than 30 other alleged gang members have been charged after a major takedown in Brooklyn. People try and leave. She got me tripping, fighting with my demons and my demons is winning. I feel like don't nobody ever feel how I feel, and I ain't never sober, baby girl. I get hot still. She said, boy, don't sip lean and pop pills. It's 50 degrees, and I can tell that you hot still, but I don't know what you want. Uh, feel so right to do wrong. Can't buy love, it don't come with a coupon, and they'll never catch it like a nigga with no arms. Uh, baby, I'm tripping, my feelings been fried. All right, full warning, uh, which is probably too late. We do play unedited videos around these parts, so you may hear some words that we are not allowed to say. If you're singing along, you have to skip that part unless. You know, um, anyway, um, not really sure what I was going to expect. There's a few noises in here that I like. The at the beginning was fun. I really like that little intro with like the, the news report and it just comes right at us. I don't rap. I would have to say is probably my least favorite music out there primarily because I don't understand it. Um, I just, yes. Um, oh, is there a delicate way to put this? Uh, look at me. There are experiences in this world that I have not had, so I do not understand a lot of the rap music. Um, you know, I understand heartbreak, and I know there's heartbreak in rap music, but there's also gang violence, and again, that was not me. But we're just going to fire this right back up, but so far, it's got a good beat. I'm kind of kind of digging it. Me, uh, I blame it on anxiety. I had two chops with the stick like I'm Chinese. Gotta keep it, I know how this life be. They showing real love, that's unlikely. Fuck you, I ain't asked you to like me. Watch for that snake, he might bite me. Uh, watch out for anybody moving spicy. Do what you do, but just do it precisely. Uh, they gotta talk to you nicely. Check on your head, but it's nothing like Nike. I just hope you ain't taking it lightly. Feel like I'm stuck in a maze. I just try not to feel too amazed. Stand where I live till I lay in a grave. Sleeping on me been up for some days. Like how you gon' shit where you lay? Uh, 
You keep the fame, I just wanna get paid. Jacu stow with the wave. Uh free all my niggas they hurry away. Like sometimes I feel like a slave to my feelings. I can really even tell you how I'm feeling. Bucked out, they gon' say I'm tripping when I'm chilling. Wonder who gon' hold it down until it's finished. This for the record, no Guinness. Uh you must be drunk if you think I won't drill him. Praying, but they know you sinning. Uh you gotta lose a lot before the winning. And most of the time I be stuck in my mind. Make mistakes in no way to rewind. But fuck it, we get over shit over time. It's all love to you, get out of line. Like you know one day you Okay, hold on real quick. Maybe I can relate because there's a lot of stuff that he's talking about that I I I can dabble in some of these feelings. There's some emotion here. I'm digging it. I'll let it ride out till the end and then kind of recap and overview this, but it's a little more relatable than I was thinking it might be. You was shy. Uh, you know one day you would read through the lines. If they fucking with you, it's fine. Uh, you just make sure you get back like a spine. Uh. Okay, here's the deal. Oh, uh, oh <laughs> that's classic. I love it. Check this out right here, right there at the top. Um, <laughs> I'm using, uh, I'm, my wife and I have some YouTube premium here. I'm dropping a whole lot of coin just to make sure that none of this gets interrupted with commercials. Um, and every now and then you got to get a peek at some of the stuff that, that it gets watched um, from these recommendations here. So most of it's music that they're either trying to throw at me, but every now and then... Somebody on a cruise just shows up and we get to watch that for an hour. I don't know. Anyway, um, back to... Oh, that's a Ferris wheel. <laughs> that's not, oh, I should have my contacts in, shouldn't I? I uh, see what's actually happening. Anyway, um, so I said a few times that I cannot relate to rap music because in my head, my shallow mind, my tiny brain thinks of rap music as street music, as gang banging, as, um, you know, a different way of life, urban, if you will. Um, it's, there's just an urban vibe that I didn't experience. There's also, let's be honest here, the socioeconomic side of things. Um, there's a reason most rap artists do not look like me. Um, again, it's the experience. Also, if we're being honest here, rap got its start in the streets, uh, of, of inner cities and, I'm a suburban kid, so I didn't think I'd be able to relate to it, yet here he is talking about being messed with, uh, I'm going to use the nice language, um, being messed with, I think we've all felt that, he's talking about being stressed out from things that are happening in his life, I think we can all relate to that, so it's honestly, you know, it's not as unrelatable as I thought it was going to be, and I've heard some raps, so, you know, I grew up as a child of the 80s and 90s here, so I guess my rap then was like Two Live Crew and NWA, Ice Cube, Ice T, Vanilla Ice. Um, <laughs> so, which shows you the difference in the suburbs and urbans if you need to know. Throw on the Vanilla Ice. That's rap, man, for us white kids. But um, this was more relatable than I thought it was going to be. And I liked it. It kind of had like a Caribbean Latin vibe just a little bit in that beat and the voice. I don't know where he's from. Uh, it could... If I were guessing, and just let me just throw a dart at a board and be wrong so somebody can tell me in the comments what's actually happening here, it kind of had like a Southern American, and I don't mean South American, I mean the Southern U.S. vibe, like Louisiana, or maybe, maybe like uh, Birmingham, Alabama, and uh, let's see how wrong I am, go ahead and tell me, because again, I do this with no, no show prep, I go into this completely unprepared, I don't even like to know what genre I'm listening to, who, where they're from, anything, because I like to be as blind and deaf as possible when I do this. Um, but I kind of picked up a little bit of a, a southern accent. I just don't know how far south. Um, but I, I kind of dig it. It's relatable. It was, um, it was not at all what I thought it was going to be. And uh, that is always surprising uh, for this guy right here when we get something that is not what we think it's going to be. Was, was that, like, rap? No, it wasn't particularly hardcore. Yes, I'm sure it falls in somewhere in the rap, R&B, hip-hop category, which is totally cool. That's where I would expect it to be. But it, that was that was enjoyable. It, it, was, it was... Nobody was mumbling. Auto-tune wasn't turned to a thousand. It was just a kind of very straightforward... Um, 
I dig it. A guy had a good voice. I'm guessing the, the singing part was Dochi. Again, I don't know how that's pronounced. Doechi? Doch do? Yeah, anyway. But, um, it was, a it actually tied it together nicely. Um, and it actually, it was kind of nice because he was getting a little stressed out and bringing it up. And then the, the singing was bringing it back down and kind of like mellowing, which for a song called Anxiety makes a whole lot of sense. She was the anti-anxiety medicine. Or I'm, I'm assuming it was a she. I don't know, but it sounded like a female voice. Uh, but that was the anti-anxiety medicine right there to kind of bring us right back down and grounded. Great songwriting. I really like the beat. It's very, very basic, very simple, but it had kind of that... Uh, that kind of uptick on the guitar um, sound to it. I'm sure it was probably all done with computers, but it had like a nice little uptick, some hits on the off beats. I really, really liked it. I expected the worst and I am walking out of here happy. So thumbs up from me. Hopefully I get thumbs up from you. You know, I love your thumbs. Uh, they're just, your, they're, they're the best part of you. Let's just be honest. So if you want to share those with me, I'd appreciate it. Go ahead. Tell me the things I don't know, the things I need to know. Other artists that you might like or that other songs by uh sleepy halo halo uh that i need to check out definitely let me know i enjoyed this a lot more than i thought i would uh this was great um and it's a huge departure from metal um but go ahead tell me everything i need to know in the comments subscribe if you haven't already because we are churning these out like the amish make butter and as always I'm supposed to leave you with some wonderful words of wisdom before I go. So, uh, this is a uh, comment I was told. Uh, I'm, I'm doing new sign-offs. I was told this is how I have to say goodbye tonight, and I'm going to stick with it. When somebody tells me I've got to do this, I'm going with it. So, folks, please remember to wipe front to back. Yeah, that's it. That's our sign-off. You're welcome. Bye-bye.